Well, this guy is the Aussie boxer known for punching well above his weight. Oh, says. With not only a world premiership, sorry, championship under his belt, but also a victory over our very own Carl Stefanovic. He was lucky. <laughs> oh, now Jeff sure. Horn is hanging up his gloves to prepare for his toughest fight yet. And Jeff joins us now alongside his beautiful wife, Joanna, and his daughter, Charlotte, Elizabeth and Isabel, live hey, from guys. Brisbane this morning. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you this morning. How are you? Good morning. Mm. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, good. <laughs> you all kinds of pumped up. Cold but... weather for us in Brisbane. <laughs> yeah, what is it, 28? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Jeff, you announced yeah. the, your retirement <laughs> yesterday, six years to the day after winning your world championship. Um, it must have been pretty bittersweet for you. How are you feeling? Yeah, look, I I'm feeling relieved, really. Look, I've had some offers over recent times, but Mommy. look, it's just not Mommy. worth worth the the risk really and um, I've got bigger work now that I'm doing with Bullyproof Australia. We're trying to uh, bullyproof every kid in the state with the help of the Queensland Government. I mean what you've achieved in your career is incredible but also outside of the ring Jeff what you've been able to achieve is equally incredible. I mean this next fight of yours it's a big one. Yeah 100% look I've won world titles in the the stadium that you've you see behind me and that was the biggest moment of my career but Look, I would give up that world title belt to save one kid's life mm. and that's exactly the importance I'm putting on the work that I'm doing now and that's uh, to bullyproof the state. I'll get onto that in just a second. Um, Joanna, you must be kind of relieved, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Like, I feel like I've been waiting for this day forever. <laughs> but it's a, I guess it's a bit of a bittersweet because it's, you know, I guess it's an, an ending of, you know, what, a good 10... 20 years it feels like you know and so it's a little bit sad but at the same time it's very ah oh, thank god i can yeah. breathe again the relief. i mean you can tell us what it's like when you used to watch him get in the ring we used to all just get excited about it but for you uh, it's never easy mm. yeah yeah it was definitely yeah there was a, a lot going on and yeah so i'm just glad i don't have to go through it anymore yeah, yeah. for sure um, Jeff, um, you, you've obviously had it's some. Hard, it's hard to believe Go it was. It, yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to believe it was. It was so long ago that I that I beat Pacquiao here at Suncorp Stadium because that's when I announced this one yeah. that was coming. Yeah, I've that's had another right. couple since then. Amazing. <laughs> All right. So tell us about the work you're going to be doing. Look, I'm working v very closely, I guess, with the government. They're helping support us um, in our mission to try and bullyproof Queensland. And that's trying to put this program, uh, with the help of Bullyproof Australia, put this program into schools to help kids be able to manage conflict. It seems to be getting worse, mm. violence in schools, doesn't it, Jeff? I mean, this is the time to tackle it. Yeah, look, it's, um, I guess it's getting worse and worse because we're not really doing much about it. And I think this, this is getting kids while they're young, uh, when they're 12, 13 years old, and even younger, even in primary school, and making sure that they um, they know what to do if they come up against certain situations in life. And for you, Jeff, this is something you're familiar with when you're in school experiencing some bullying yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, I struggled with it, grade eight, grade nine, grade 10. I, w I had a bit of troubles in that time. Mm. Um, it eased off after that, but it, it was tough. And mm. I, I didn't feel like living in some of those times. It was, it got that mm. bad. and. I feel how little James was yesterday who's done the program and um, he feels kind of suicidal at times and um, it's sad and I think that we need to do something to help these kids because that's there's nothing worse than losing such a, a beautiful human, human yeah. being. All right, well, very well said and it's a great cause. Joanna, would you ever let your daughters go into boxing? <laughs> No. <laughs> Simple answer. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, thanks for being with us um, yeah. on this uh, on this Monday morning. Really appreciate it's a really it. Really great family. Course, We're really happy for you, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you man. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel. Though, subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?